way of moving there is a little different than ours. And they do things that we say we can't do without, they do without. <laughs> and it's not a problem. We're going to call the special meeting of the Zoning Board of Adjustment to order on May the 2nd, 2018. Will everyone please rise for a salute to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to note that notice of this meeting has been satisfied in accordance with Chapter 231, PL 1975, by advertising in the Home News Tribune, notifying the Sentinel Publishing Company and the Star Ledger, posting on the bulletin board, and filing with the borough clerk. Mr. Chairman, um, if I just may, we, we did not um, publish it in the Sentinel. Um, we did publish in the Home News Tribune and the Star Ledger in accordance with the open publishing rules. So I just wanted to clarify that for the record. Okay, thank you. Roll call. Mr. Green? Here. Mr. Henry? Here. Mr. Kaczynski? Here. Ms. Catalo? Here. Mr. Corrigan? Here. Mr. Esposito? Here. Uh, let it be known that uh, Mr. Emma called me earlier. He had surgery last week, and he will not be here tonight due to a medical situation. And the board members may uh, consider that an excused absence given mm -hmm. medical reasons? Yeah. Yes. So hearing no objection, excuse me, I'll go on the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Old business. We are here tonight for application 16-13. Temple located at 717 Washington Road. Good evening, Chairman. Mr. Kanowitz. Um, Can't hear him. There we go. It's got to get closer. Um, we uh, thank you again, Mr. Kanowitz, and your, and your client for giving the board additional time to consider this matter. We, we had a, a lot of testimony the last hearing, and it's been a course of three hearings, so we greatly appreciate it. We've heard all the application in chief by the applicant we've heard the members of the public we've closed public just wanted to give you you're not hearing it sorry yeah. how about how about now yeah. why, why, yeah. don't you, why don't you start over I got to get pretty close to it so very sorry close. about that so we um, at the end of the last hearing we had uh, heard all your um, application we heard from the public we had closed the public session uh, you were kind enough to grant the board some additional time to consider the matter for a vote this evening uh, and as customary, I just wanted to give you a chance if you have any closing remarks before the board begins deliberation. Th thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members of the board, for your consideration. And just in good and welfare, I hope Mr. Emma has a speedy and full recovery. Um, I'll be very brief. Uh, the application seeks approval, site, uh, site plan review, and use variances and other associated variances. You've heard the testimony I think we've made out. Um, the various proofs for the variance relief that we seek, including to the extent that the board feels there's a use variance involved, the D D1 variance, the positive criteria have been made out, um, both special reasons in advancing the purposes of zoning. And I think <coughs> Mr. Rayenkamp's testimony was clear uh, as to the absence of any <coughs> substantial detriment meeting the negative criteria. Um, second, um, I think you also heard um, considerable testimony and um, several conditions which I'll just tick off again to summarize regarding the traffic including various steps that we would take and have taken um, to coordinate uh, the traffic issues that were raised and discussed and those includes coordinating with the police, um, the hiring police to the extent necessary to assist in traffic management, posting steins before the events, we talked about those Rutgers types of events and the like to post and advise people of, of, uh, of, of our upcoming uh, congestion in, at, at a certain time. Um, direction signs at the site to, to assist 
drivers as they come. Email blasts out to the attendees as well um, in order to have them be mindful of traffic and identify areas for parking. And uh, also, um, <clears throat> uh, to the extent uh, you know, the board has other conditions associated with traffic, we understand that that's part of the board's um, duty and, 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 and responsibility. Um, but with that said, um, we ask that the application be approved for the relief we seek, um, that the variances be granted, and we can move forward. I appreciate your time and consideration very much. Thank you. All right, first, I want to thank the applicant and their staff for the presentation of this application. Mr. Kanowitz for providing the board with the pertinent information in order to reach a proper decision. It is noted that this application has been on record since last year, 2017. I also want to thank the board members for their volunteer time with this application, the many hours, the questions, the research, the legal matters, and your thoughtfulness concerning this complete application. Well done, and I thank you. Everyone needs to know that this application before us is really about the 12 apartment units that the applicant has been asking for. If it was not about these 12 apartments, this application would be conforming and would be before the planning board and not us. The applicant, according to land use law, has the property to build the temple, 89,000 square feet, and does not require, and, and also has the property for parking. This, this site structure is conforming and does not require any variances and all other parts of this application as stated falls within state, federal, and local borough ordinances that governs this board and its decision. As a police officer for 35 years, I was governed by the laws of this country, <coughs> the state, and now this board and its members are also guided and governed by federal, state, and borough ordinances and land use law in making decisions that apply to this application. It is very clear and without doubt. The temple has been in service since 1993-1994 in its present form and is now asking to expand their present location and facility. I and the board understand this. I am now making the motion to approve this application with the following conditions. I'm going to ask our attorney, the board attorney, Mr. Kim, to read these conditions as I have uh, given him the authority to do so. Certainly, Mr. Chairman. Um, the conditions that were discussed and the board wishes to impose are as follows. Um, many of these conditions Mr. Kanowitz had referenced in his comments and were also brought up by the applicants during the course of the three hearings on this matter. Um, the applicant will continue to coordinate the traffic control issues with the police department in advance of their 11 large events. They will continue to employ the off-duty police officers for these 11 large events in, in coordination with and is determined by the police department. Again, the, for, the, for the 11 large events, the, to continue to distribute flyers and email blasts among their congregation, advising of the off-site parking locations uh, to obey the traffic officers and other parking related issues as they had done in the past. Um, to clarify the signage, uh, the minimum signage that the board is requiring is 
at least one week in advance, again in coordination with the police department, one on westbound Washington Road, generally at the intersection of Minnesink Avenue, and the other on the eastbound side of Washington Road, generally at the intersection of Ernston Road. The applicant, again, for the large events will continue to use the off-site parking and busing to and from the middle school and high school, and we ask them to continue <coughs> to negotiate to obtain additional off-site parking locations, including uh, locations such as the Faith Fellowship Church, DuPont, the Park and Ride in Sayreville on Raritan, the other Park and Ride in the Borough on 9 and 35, and potentially the Park and Ride in Old Bridge. Some general conditions the board wishes to place upon this application. First being the 12 apartments. The 12 apartments shall be used only for those involved with religion functions uh, of the church, including priests, cantors, cooks, and other individuals performing religion functions such as testified to by the applicant and would not be used for visiting congregants or light guests. Um, would not exclude um, when priests visit, if I didn't mention that. Um, the parking lot that is on the location shall be used uh, for a first come first serve basis. There would be no reserved or VIP parking or restricted parking as the applicant had testified to, so we don't have to worry about traffic back up on the roadway if there's confusion on those uh, regard. Um, additionally, no two large events such as a wedding and a high priest visit would be scheduled on the same day. <coughs> Uh, religious ceremonies such as weddings are permitted, however, wedding receptions and like religious, uh, non-religious celebrations would not be prohibited. Uh, again, not letting it be used such as a catering hall, but the applicant indicated they would not, so we're just clarifying that condition. Um, as discussed with the applicant last uh, meeting, um, there will be a post-operational traffic study uh, once the uh, temple has been in operation in that first year, the applicant's traffic expert in coordination with the board engineer will conduct traffic studies during that first year that will include uh, a traffic count on a normal weekday, traffic count on a normal weekend, uh, during a wedding, a high priest visit if there is one during that one year event, uh, during two of the large events, which is, and I miss, I Apologies if I mispronounce anything. I mean no disrespect. The Diwali event normally held in November, which I believe is your New Year's type event. Uh, and then the Holly or Holy, H-O-L-I event, which is normally held in, um, I believe that's in March. Um, and then also a corridor study along Washington Avenue to determine um, length of uh, time cars are in traffic. Um, then again, those will all be in coordination with the borough engineer. At the end, the traffic study will be submitted to the board professionals. If the report shows an increase in traffic uh, of 5% above the levels testified to by the applicant's traffic engineer, then the applicant will be required to meet with the board professionals and police department to determine if additional traffic measures should be employed, such as additional off-site parking or anything else that may be um, advisable. Um, as the applicant testified to, they will comply with the conditions uh, in the board planners report, specifically additional landscaping in and about the stormwater basin, the fence along the eastern property line. Applicant will endeavor to save as many of the mature trees in the front of the property as possible. We also would ask the applicant to um, any on-site uh, reforestation be uh, concentrated more in the front of the property and work in <coughs> conjunction with the board planner in that regard. Uh, and as the applicant indicated, um, the new sign will comply with zoning regulations once that's constructed and operating. The old sign will be removed. And then, of course, comply with any open items in the CME report to the board engineer's satisfaction. And I believe, Mr. Chairman, that covers all the conditions discussed. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. I have made a motion to approve this application. You've heard, the board has heard the conditions. Anyone from the board wish to comment? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I have uh, just one question. Uh, just trying to nail everything down. I believe the two holidays mentioned, they might be more than one day. Is that true? Diwali and Holy, are they more than one day? Qu 
just to clarify, um, Holy Day in the March is one day, and Diwali is five days. All right, so which, I guess, which of those five days is the busiest? That's the one we'd like to study. Um, as I've been educated, I will endeavor to educate you to the extent I'm able. The calendar is a lunar ca Yes, I'm sorry. As I've been educated, I'll endeavor to educate. The calendar is a lunar calendar, unlike the solar calendar that is operational in the United States. As a result, the days are not, every, it's not as if it's the first of the year every year although the first of the year in our calendar, say January 1, might go on a, on, a, on a weekday. So the short answer to you is in those years when that five-day period uh, falls on a weekend, one can expect that the weekend would be a more uh, um, attended day as compared to when that five-day stretch doesn't fall on a weekend. Okay, that's, that's if, a fair if that's, answer. If that's yeah. responsive to you. So, so if, that's if, one of the if, days we would like yes, to Yes, if you feel that you want it done on the what would appear to be in consultation with professional on what that year would be the uh, likely uh, heaviest attended day, uh, that's, that's that, that that seems to be the intent of the board. Right, that's the yeah, yeah, so yeah, thank you. We'll, we'll modify that to indicate you know the the study would be on the more heavily attended day, and again as indicated, and we'll have more uh, detailed language in the written resolution, but again, they, they will confer with the board engineer to make sure that the study days and, and the protocol of the study itself are appropriate. Um, so we'll make sure we take that into consideration. Okay, thank you. I'll second the motion, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and we have a second. I need a roll call vote. Mr. Green? Yes. Mr. Henry? Yes. Mr. Kaczynski? Yes. Ms. Catalo? Yes. Mr. Corrigan? Yes. Mr. Resposito? Yes. Can I, can I just make a comment? Am I, am I allowed? Certainly. Okay. Um, look, all due respect to everyone, um, I'm voting yes. H however, I do wish that you had given more consideration to moving to another location in town more suitable for our traffic. Um, but quite honestly, I know what this is about, and I know it's about the 12 apartments, and, and, and I'm convinced that it has nothing to do, it won't intrude on our school district, and you will adhere to the rules you set forth. So, uh, but I just wanted that on the record, but my vote is yes. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, can I make a comment? Yes. Um, we, there was a lot of talk, and there's conditions in the approval of, uh, concerning traffic, and there may or may not have been talk about other events in town that cause traffic, such as the football games, graduations, Kennedy Park carnivals, 4th of July, but almost all of those, if, if not all of them, are, are more or less controlled by the town. So if things get out of hand, the town can make adjustments. But with your temple, we, we can't tell you what to do. So that's why we are really emphasizing that we need some kind of control over the traffic. And that's, that's I hope, hope that's acceptable to you, the reasoning. Thank you. And my last comment is, I am asking for the temple to cooperate with the borough of Serval to make this a pleasurable situation where everything is controlled and we don't have things get out of hand on Washington Road. Thank you. Thank you and good evening and I'm sure I'll be in touch with Mr. Uh, Mr. Kim for the paperwork. Give us one minute. <clears throat> 
I'm taking my time to take my part tonight. Social media. No. But you got started tonight. <laughs> I tell who? And I know it's tough. It's, it's hard to. I'll start it from the window. That's right. Yeah. 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 How much? I mean, it's what you put. Two million dollars. It's two percent. Right, that's good enough. Uh, board members, um, I, I was able to get the resolutions accomplished for the two homeowners that were here um, two weeks ago, and, and since they're homeowners and looking to get things done sooner than rather later, um, we have the resolutions to be adopted. The first one is for uh, Catherine Poland, which was 113 Morgan Avenue. Uh, that was a front yard setback for her to build a uh, front porch on her house. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the resolution as submitted? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, resolution is adopted. The second resolution was, and I'm probably going to butcher this man's lovely name, Marcin Stepien, which was 2, G, 2 Eugene Boulevard. And there was a side yard setback to expand his driveway. Um, the applicant agrees to uh, comply with the town and uh, acquire the property curb cut um, permits. Um, and I think it was the only condition on that one. Do we have a motion to approve the resolution as submitted? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed? None. Hearing none, the resolution's adopted. Thank you, board members. Okay, make a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Second. Meeting's adjourned. <coughs>